If you're wondering whether or not it's time to jump in and buy an Amazon Echo Show 5, well, we have our full review here coming up. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. Now it's time to take the frustration out of automation by ensuring you're purchasing the right product. And is the Echo Show 5 the right product for you? Well, let's talk about what it is. The Amazon Echo Show 5 is an enabled smart display with a five inch display. As it has Amazon's very capable voice assistant on board, it's able to handle a ton in your home and instantly makes a lot about your home very smart. It's priced at 90 US and it is definitely intended to be your bedside clock or alarm clock. And it's also intended to sit in your kitchen on your kitchen counter. What does this little device do? Well, it's a smart display and as such, it is only limited really by the voice assistant that's on board. And even those limitations are stretched by the fact that it is a smart display and that's where the display comes in and helps you do additional things. Now, just a short list here to get you started. You'll be able to play music, play videos, and not just on this device, but you could also use it to send videos or start videos on Fire TV sticks and Fire Cubes, those types of devices from Amazon. You'll also be able to get most answers from most of your common questions that you just have throughout your day. And of course, you'll be able to control your smart home, any smart home connected devices. You'll also be able to use the massive Amazon skill library, manage your calendar from a number of different services. You'll be able to set alarms, timers, reminders, and really overall manage your day through such a small device. You'll be able to call your friends, send messages or leave voice messages for them, receive the same voice messages and receive the same calls all through Amazon's application you just set it up there and then it's able to work through here and a kind of a newer feature here is to take photos and have them show up instantly on the display as part of the rotation. So the display component of the Echo Show 5 is great and it's especially great if you're a Prime subscriber and you have access to Amazon Video or Amazon Prime Videos. Now you can see the larger cousin of the Echo Show 5 sitting right here. This is the full size display and really they're capable of the same things. Now I would expect other than Amazon Prime Video, YouTube to show up as a native application. Now there's no word on that just yet, but we would expect that with Google and Amazon kind of ending the Cold War a little bit here, but there's no guarantees on that. What you do have instead is the web browser on, again, both of these devices, or you actually have two web browsers, and that web browser allows you to go to youtube.com and it's quite a good functioning or a well-functioning uh, interface to navigate through YouTube with. Obviously with those two web browsers, you're able to run through lots of the internet and, and go to most of your favorite sites. I mean, I don't know what you're going to look at, but everything I've tried so far on this device has looked great and performed really well. I use something called Action Tiles as well that controls my smart home through Samsung SmartThings and that control interface works great on here and so this becomes a very powerful smart home controller. The screen is very good for its size and it allows you to watch a lot of things in a very nice format and it looks great all the time. Obviously it's a bit of a shinier screen and so you have to keep that in mind with play I think the speaker is quite good as well, especially for the size and the price of the device here and all of the functionality. When you kind of look at it as a whole package, the speaker is very good. It's definitely outperforming my Echo Dot. I wasn't sure at first, but as I went forward, I think this is a better speaker and it even rivals this device over here, the Amazon Echo second generation. Now, whether or not it's better than a Google Nest Hub, that's something we'll talk a little bit later about. The web Web browser I think is the biggest benefit and something that again Google if we're comparing those two devices kind of hasn't caught on to here at least not in the same way Amazon has this makes this essentially a tablet type of device Amazon's voice assistant continues to improve it is still the best in the industry in terms of controlling your smart home and has the biggest or the largest skill uh, store here on the planet by far I mean Google's not even close and Apple's not even trying and Samsung's just started. The new interface for controlling not just your smart home but a number of 
of other features. You can see you just swipe from the left there and it brings up this new interface and you could bring it back just like that. And that has become one of my most used features instantaneously. As I got the device, I started to use that, not just to control my smart home, but also to start and stop music, and if I wanted, video. It also allows you to quickly access all of your routines, and that's a big deal for a lot of people in terms of controlling their smart home. Very, very powerful and you can also access your alarms very quickly, which is obviously important with someone who's going to use this as a bedside table or even you know, setting alarms or timers and things within a kitchen setting. A couple extra things, I mean, setup here on this device was entirely on the device. All I needed was an Amazon account and I could set it up entirely here without using a phone or a tablet or something to connect to the device. I can also manage things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, the display settings, the sounds, all of that on device without having to bring out my app. The price is also great. At $90, I feel like I'm getting a ton from Amazon. Now, uh, we'll talk about the dislikes here in a minute, but the price overall with the package here really feels great. In terms of dislikes, let's be honest, the biggest thing to dislike right now is the privacy concerns around Amazon and their recordings and how they're even saying, well, you know what, yeah, we're keeping your recordings even if you delete them. So, you know, if you can get past that, I think that's the biggest drawback on the Echo Show 5. Other drawbacks include the speaker and, you know, I talked about the speaker being good, but on the flip side, when you kind of get to the higher end of the volume and you get to the higher kind of fuller songs just busier songs you do start to hear a little bit of I guess I'll call it distortion and it's it's just not a perfect speaker at that point now it never hurts to hear these devices of course so let's play a snippet from each of the devices you see and you'll be able to hear those differences between the speakers I might be being a little bit nitpicky here, but the overall design of this is a little bulky. It feels a little unrefined versus a device like the Google Nest Hub here. It's just not on that same level of look and feel and polish, I guess, is, is really what it comes down to. I do think it's easy to look at smart displays right now and say, well, they're doing just about everything we could ever hope for because they're a new device and it's hard to define what they should and shouldn't be doing. But I really do think that the apps have to eventually end up on devices like this. And I, I, I have the same comment about this. I have the same comment about this really in the end. I think skills are great and this has the best skills in the industry on it, but I still miss the ability to run applications. And when you see them run the web browser, I really miss it at that point. I mean, that to me says they're capable of doing a lot more and should be doing a number of apps for you and I to use and would make this ultimately one of the most powerful devices in our home. Now the ultimate in the smart home industry is whether or not we're going to give it our seal of approval here on Automate Your Life and the answer to that is if you can get past the privacy issues well then this might be the best overall Amazon Echo device in the entire series and I don't say that lightly because they have produced a lot of great devices that you see here. I think the Echo Show, the second generation of this device right here, you know, that really moved them forward again in terms of device design. And 
what they've done by shrinking it down to the five inch form factor here, really keeping a lot of the sound quality within it, and also adding the little things they have to the control interface, the privacy shutter here, and just some nuances to the product really have made it, I think, one of the best overall Echo devices out there, especially when you consider that 90 US price tag. Now, as always, the links are down below, and if you purchase through those links, you're supporting Automate Your Life, and I appreciate that, guys. Now, on screen, what you're seeing is a playlist to all of our content on the Echo Show 5, which shows you how to set it up, and it gives you comparisons to these other products that you're seeing here on the screen to help you make that right purchasing decision here. So until next time, everyone, don't hate and automate.